Getting your life together is actually very fun. When you see the progress through time and when you see where you've been, where you were coming from and where you are now and where you plan to go in the future, these are all very beautiful things and very great things to be thinking about and to be pondering. You know, the progress and the process can suck sometimes because sometimes you got to take a lot of losses in order to get those wins and you have to take a lot of a lot of heat and a lot of pressure from society and from the people around you but in the end it is just so it's it's always better on the other side when you get through the pain and when you get through the suffering it's always better there's never been a trial that I've gone through where I've got to the other side and I thought to myself, fuck, this sucks still. No, not every, not, not any time has that happened. But what I want to talk about today is what happens when your favorite person becomes the lesson for you in your life. I'm sure we've all had some kind of person in our lives, whether it's a family member or a relationship partner or a close friend whom we believed in, whom we really strived to want to believe that they were who they said they were. You know, they were a ride or die kind of person. But then it turns out that they're not that way. I remember the best the best friend I ever thought I had. Well, there were two that come to mind. I did psychedelics with both of them at one point. And it was one of the most profound things that I experienced. Because we were sitting at a pool at one point and we were bathing in the sun. And... It was just as if we were the only people in the universe. It was, and it wasn't like there wasn't an outside world. It was just that we were exactly who we are, where we are. And there's the sun, the great ball of fire burning in the sky. (laughs) And here we are in the beautiful, nice pool. And... There was just something so archaic about that experience. But following this experience, we all endured a lot of therapeutic, I guess you could say, processes within the psychedelic experience. For better or for worse, it was, in the in hindsight, it was for the best, but... In the moment, it sure didn't feel like it was. Now, again, I'm not promoting psychedelics of any kind because this was years ago. This was four or five years ago, this story. But I still sometimes find myself thinking about these kinds of experiences that I had because they were just so profound. And the lesson that I learned in these processes were that you can't wrap yourself up like a burrito and expect the world to see you. You know, you have to be seen in the sunlight. You've got to get out there. You've got to show the world what you've got and you have to try. And fuck whoever tells you that trying isn't worth it. Like, you, I will never understand people that try to knock others down for actually trying to put in an effort that that's fucked up really and that doesn't help anybody in fact that's only just promoting worse karma for yourself and i find myself oftentimes especially at the gym with a lot of what these people say there 
one thing is for sure, I get a lot of good content from this gym. <laughs> but uh, at the gym, when I hear some of these people, it's like, I could be a bully if I really wanted to be. I could be. I know I'm capable of destroying these people's egos if I really want to. I'm capable of absolutely putting in the emotional damage. But I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? I have better things to do. I have myself to focus on and to work with. And I have better goals and I have better visions that I want to strive for. And I don't really care about like what I'm being viewed as to other people. But I will say this, it's nice, well, maybe not nice, but it's nicer to be on the the side of being a man that women that have boyfriends or women in general want to be with and that are willing to literally drop themselves at, or drop their boyfriends at the drop of a hat and let themselves, if like if I gave them an inch, it's like giving a mouse a cookie, right? It's like if you give the mouse a cookie, it's going to ask for milk. And that's how it is with some of these women and attention. It's like if I just, if I just ask the person that like if they're using the machine – because their bag is like next to it, but it's not really next to it. And they're using the machine next to it, but like the the bag is in a weird position. Because so like I ask like, you know, I'd like to use this if you're not. And they're they're like stunned that I even spoke to them because I don't speak hardly ever when I'm at the gym or when I'm out and about in general, but unless I have to. And they're like stunned when I start to speak. And even the men are stunned too, because I like to be independent. I like to be alone. I like to be selfish. And I don't mean selfish as in like me, 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 me. It's as selfish as in the more that I can be myself, the better that I can give to other people down the line. Why is that a wrong thing? Like, why is that wrong? There's nothing wrong about that. And so what I've also begun to realize watching these women that have boyfriends and such, they try to, they keep trying to change the boyfriends. And they're like, like the boyfriend is just so happy to have this girl. Like the girl is his favorite person in the world. But he doesn't see the lesson with this woman. And I have to say, it's nicer to be on the one spectrum of the guys that actually see what's going on but doesn't want to be a part of it rather than the person that is involved and doesn't know what's going on. Because I am not going to... (laughs) I'm not going to take any of those women that are willing to drop their boyfriends at the drop of the hat seriously. Why would I? And one of them is actually, because I mentioned recently in one of the videos that I made that there's three women that are trying to attach their energy. One of them attach their energy to me. One woman is almost acting as if we're destined to be with each other. She keeps like hinting at things when I'm around, but I don't talk to her. And she keeps like, it's almost, it's a weird obsession. But you know what? I'd rather be the guy that women are obsessed with because I make an eternal change in their life than the guy that they try to change who ends up changing and then they don't want him anymore. Right? I'd rather be that guy that makes the eternal change. Not that there's only two options in this case, but in like, or at least there's not only two options generally, but
But in this situation, those were the two options, and I'd rather be the guy that I was and am. But really, making progress in understanding the dynamics of relationships, making progress in understanding where you're at in your goal setting, where you're at in your business or your career, anything like that, where you're at comparatively to where you were even a year ago. Like that, those are really cool things to see. Like when I think back to the guy that I was, the 200 pound ice cream eating every day, pizza eating every day guy. I didn't, okay, I didn't have it every day, but maybe like four or five times a week, I probably did. And when I think back to being that guy playing Fortnite and Overwatch and smoking a lot, drinking here and there, when I think back to that guy, it's it's like... I remember like it was yesterday, but man, it feels like it was so long ago. It it does genuinely feel like a, a former life to some degree. And part of this experience with the psychedelics that I had with these, with this, with these two friends, something I learned was that I don't need to save people that claim they want to be saved. And then when you try to save them, they get upset. But then when you go to pack your bags, <laughs> they're like, wait, wait, where's he going? Where, where, why are you leaving us? Dr. Dre has a song called, I need a doctor. And the lyrics go, at one point he's like, it's like, when I get ready to pack my bags, I guarantee they'll scream and say, Dre, don't leave us like that. (laughs) What do you, (laughs) yeah, exactly, (laughs) exactly. I feel you, Dr. Dre. I feel you. (laughs) Seriously, though, it's crazy how these people will claim they want to be saved but then not put in the effort and then expect people to like and then expect change it's like you had no introspection done and psychedelics this is another thing i learned specifically about psychedelics and i'm paraphrasing something that terence mckenna said it's that psychedelics don't work on the people that don't care whether or not they want to have introspection. They don't care. Like people that take psychedelics that don't care about genuine introspection, psychedelics aren't going to work. They may get the hallucinations. They'll get like the crazy colors and they may have a fine time. But it's not going to get the psychological change that does occur when there is a genuine intent to make a introspective change. And it's not like the Most High died for us to just live recklessly. That's what I hate about a lot of Christians. They're like, well, Jesus died for us. It's like, well, yeah, but... He didn't die for us to be stupid. Like, he didn't die for us to act and behave in such a prideful, arrogant, dismissive manner. It wasn't intended to be that way. This torrent of 
idiocracy that we have in our society is just astounding. And it makes me so grateful to be chosen. And it makes me so grateful to participate in making videos where I can reach so many different kinds of people. And I just want to say thank you very much for all of the comments recently about just getting better and better with time and the videos are improving and they're resonating more deeply. I'm, I'm really appreciative of that because it makes me want to keep making videos for you guys. And it really encourages me also to keep making a difference and to keep learning because the more that I'm doing these videos and the more I'm communicating with you guys, the more I'm learning as well. Like I'm not done. I'm not done learning. I'm still growing. And I want to encourage you to be your own leader in your life so that you can grow. Learn your lessons. And the people in your life that you think are your favorite people, they may or may not be those kinds of people. So you have to keep an eye out and you have to really gauge people's intentions and you have to really understand that not everybody wants you to outgrow them. But keep going, man. Like, keep going. That's the only thing that we can really do. And I know that's a cliche thing to say, but what else are we going to do in this life but to keep moving forward? Stay inspired and stay blessed. And peace be with you. Till next time.